Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hope everybody's having a, a good uh, Tuesday as we are ever so closer to the 49ers final preseason game with the Houston Texans. Um, that'll mark the end of the uh, preseason slash training camp as we get closer to the actual NFL season, September 11th. Um, this game, the Niners apparently are going to try to play uh, most of their starters in preparation for week one. Um, I am a person who is a firm believer that that is not the greatest idea, mainly because of injury. I know a lot of people get on me for it and think, think that it's uh, football and that's the way it's just going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, which I agree with. Um, there is certain parts of this team that definitely need a better look. I think the offensive line could definitely use some, some exposure and, uh, the starters, or at least what's close to being the starting uh, five offensive linemen, they need to be out there um, at least for, I don't know, a quarter, hopefully not more than that, to see what is the best combination going forward because we definitely have some questions with the offensive line. Uh, running back depth, I think, is still a huge question. Uh, we know who the number one is, but what's the order of uh, – of people behind him. I know a lot of this gets figured out in practice and in training camp. So the preseason is a formality, at least for some things defensively, who's going to be the safety that's going to take over for Jimmy Ward. If he's got a prolonged absence, the Niners signed Tyshawn Gibson the other day. Does he even make the team? Um, Dante Johnson at one point was an option to play safety. He did well down the stretch last year, but he's been digging up as well. Uh, the starting cornerbacks, uh, Will they all get a chance in this game with all the little, you know, kind of nagging injuries that they've had during training camp, Javarius Ward, uh, Emmanuel Mosley. Uh, that's a, something I, I think a lot of people want to look at. And then the wide receiver depth, really. Um, what is the starting six, I would assume, right? You know, we know who our number two is, but uh, is Ray Ray McLeod and Juwan Jennings going to do some kind of, you know, where they both have a, a shot at kind of playing the slot receiver, third, you know, the third wide receiver. Juwan Jennings has had an off training camp, and he had a drop in the last preseason game. I think it was just one. But what's what's the order of that wide receiving crew? Um, where does Ray Rim, uh, excuse me, where does uh, Aaron, where does uh, Danny Gray fit into all this will he actually be you know someone we're going to see uh on a regularity on sunday i think he is i think he's proven that already i think he's what he uh kyle shanahan envisioned dante pettis to be uh hopefully he continues to ascend i guess what me is when do you pull the plug on the starters when when does that become uh, apparent do they have a couple of really good positive uh Series where they get a couple scores and you say, okay, I've seen enough. I mean, Trey needs his reps, right? We got to have reps for Trey. So it's a fine line definitely to balance in the preseason between getting guys reps and risking injuries. So hopefully Kyle Shanahan and company got that all planned out, which I'm pretty much sure they do. So that's kind of a preview for me. There's not really much game to talk about because it is preseason. It's not game planning or anything like that. So. Everybody have a great rest of your Tuesday. I am back to work tomorrow, so the content's going to slow down a little bit, but I am trying to get some live streams for you guys. I'm working on one for this Friday, and of course, we have NWO on Monday, um, and then we'll see what happens as we get closer to the season. I will definitely be streaming more regularly. I'm working on something uh, through Amazon, an affiliate thing, where I will be doing giveaways, I think, on a monthly basis. Um, with products that they're going to have me show and wear and then have people have a chance to win through, um, you know, through the comments and stuff. So stay on the lookout for that as that gets more uh, ironed out until next time, everyone stay safe and healthy and I'll see you guys on the other side.